The newest set of Pokemon cards, Scarlet and Violet base set, are finally here. And we're going to take a look at it by opening this booster box. Now, as we go through this, any duplicates that we pull will go to one lucky winner in the comments. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and leave a comment down below about what your favorite pull is today. Well, let's jump into this thing. All right, so as you can see here, I have two booster boxes, but I do like to keep one sealed. Uh, I'm trying to be better about my sealed collection. So let's crack this bad boy open. This is the second time that we'll be looking at this set on this channel. The first time being the pre-release tournament. Well, let's see. Let's get this wrapping off. And this is the first booster box that we've done on this channel in a very long time. It's been a couple of months. Oof, camera angles. And just before this, Aaron and I opened up one of these booster bundles. And we were able to pull a great Tusky X Full Art, which is a really nice card. So let's crack into this thing and maybe we can get another one. Also, look at this pack art. It's so nice. Now, I know for sure that we're looking for the Coridon and Maridon EXs uh, that have gold cards. To save time, we're just going to go straight through this. But the art on this is awesome. Look at this sweet Ryolu. We've got a Muck of a Villain a Dashund, an Arvin, and a Professor's Research Hollow. And we get a look at the next pack art. The Coridon Maridon are such like cool ideas on how to implement using a uh, a legendary Pokemon in the game. And I love that. Let's see, we got a Cacnea, a Sandile, Mareep. I do like that Mareep part. It actually like feels nostalgic. Beach Court, Sandaconda, I have a Villain Reverse, Spirit Tomb, and an Iron Head Tre- or, whoa, an Iron Treads EX, I said Iron Head. So here we go, we got the two next to each other. I also needed to grab sleeves. Um, I did not get an Elite Trainer Box of this as we see the nice Gyarados art. But I didn't get an Elite Trainer Box because I ordered two from the Pokemon Center and I figured, you know, I don't need another one. My camera's really doing a great job focusing <laughs> at the uh, initial cards over here. Mashif, a Tatsuguri. These, oh man, the Torkoal looks so nice. Silicobra and a Houndstone. All right, and then we have one more of all of these starters from the Paldea region. And something I've noticed is all these code cards are white, but they have had hollows in it, I think in each one. And all of the ones that I've opened outside of it, oh, we're gonna do a card trick on that one. Uh, had black border car, uh, code cards, but I don't think they actually matter. I I'm pretty sure that you're guaranteed a hollow in every single pack in this set. A Growlithe Reverse, I love the new reverse patterns. And a Quackoval. I was watching a YouTube video the other day by Opossumbud, a really great creator, and he was talking about how like your value in cards doesn't really like, you know, equate to your collection. Uh, it doesn't actually like mean anything which I think is like really cool. And I think it's been like a testament to this channel. So I just want to double down on that. Hey, we got a full art Miriam. And of course it's not gonna focus, but that is one of the chase cards in Japan. This thing goes for like 300 or $400 as we're talking about the value not actually mattering. Um, over in English, it's probably not gonna be like that. But this card is so nice. The art on it is incredible. Of course, we pull like one of everyone's chase cards. But the reason I even bring it up is because like I said, I haven't done a booster box on this channel in so long. And that used to be like a main focus on this channel is like, how many booster boxes can I open? How many of like the most expensive product can I get to? And I've really like changed uh, and shifted how I go about content. Krogunk, a Charcadet, and a Maridon, which is really nice hollow. But I just feel like as Pokemon like content creators, I feel like we all focus on like the monetary value and you know, you can put yourself into quite a hole like buying too many cards. When I just want to see you like enjoying the hobby, uh, honestly, that that's just me. I don't know if it is just me. A Masquerada, which is really nice. This camera just really doesn't want to focus. But I did pull one of these, so that will be going to one of you. In my last few openings, uh, we did the uh, half marathon video, and I actually only spent a total of $30 on cards. And I think it just like goes to show that you can do so much with so little, uh, as long as you're being creative. A Crushing Hammer and a Cyclozar, which is really nice. If you have opened up this set, please let me know what you have gotten out of it because I've seen some really good pulls, uh, which I haven't gotten anything like too crazy besides that Miriam, which is really nice, but I really want one of those gold uh, cards, a Palmot, which is a really good card, it looks like in the TCG. Um, I don't know how viable it'll be, but it does look like it should be good. Let's get a switch up on the angle. Maybe it'll give us some good luck here. A nice Ultra Ball. A Lucario. Hey, there we go, a Magnazone EX. That's a beautiful card. I wasn't really actively collecting when there were EX cards, so I'm really excited to be seeing this. A really nice Flappy. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm not actually sure what the rarities of these are, and oh my goodness, an Arcanine. Bro, that's wild. Okay, Let's see what we get in this next pack. I really do like how they have like multiple reverse energies. Oh my goodness, and a Gardevoir EX full art. <laughs> Hey, and a Gardevoir EX, just the regular one. I love how this isn't focusing right. Hey, oh my goodness, I'm a Rhydon EX gold card. Oh, no way. 
Oh, that's so sick. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, this opening is insane. I'm glad this opening is going well too because my like anything that I've opened so far from the set hasn't really been that good. Any bump bird here? Oh my goodness. Uh, I had to figure out what the rarity of this is, but that's such a beautiful card. Oh my goodness. And a Klefki, which in my opinion is the most useless Pokemon in all of uh, Pokemon history. These few strikeouts have definitely been worth it. Um, again, hoping for that Gyarados. That is like the one card that I wanted. We're getting everything besides that. Well, it's not the one card that I wanted, but it's the one card that I really said I wanted besides the uh, gold god cards, which are oh, so beautiful. Let's go on through this one. And we got another hollow. I do really enjoy doing bigger openings, but I never want to waste all of your time. I know how busy people are. Hey, a nice Coridon EX. So we get another pull. Oh my goodness. Aren't these two just so pretty? What do we have here? Oh, another great Tusk EX. So that is going to all of you. Your stack's starting to pile up, so I don't feel so bad anymore. Another Coridon, which is really cool. And a Maridon. All right, we have five packs left. Five more packs to get that Gyarados. Bruh. Come on, Gyarados, come on. Have one of those Magikarp turn into one. Come on, I know you're in there. I just know it. I know it. This opening's been too good. I know what it is. It's because you haven't hit that like button. Do so for some last pack magic on these last two. Come on, gotta be something good. Gotta be something good. We started off hot, but these last packs are doing us dirty and a Palmot. Well, hey, if you want a chance of winning these cards, be sure to follow those rules and I will catch you in the next video.